Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Rupi and I'm so pleased to see you here. Please give me a like and subscribe and put your notifications on if you would like to see more of this type of content. So today I wanted to talk about, you know, the reality on affiliate marketing. Okay, let's put the reality on it. Um, basically, affiliate marketing is, if you're not sure, is promoting other people's products and you get paid a commission. So it's passive income, all right? Once you set it all up, it can be passive income. You can do it part-time, you can do it full-time, and uh, you're basically promoting other people's products. You don't have to create your own product. You're just going to promote other people's products or services, uh, whatever the case may be. And when somebody purchases that product or service, then you are gonna get paid a commission, okay? That's how it works. You could also provide your own products or services um, and you would also get that commission. Okay, so um, when we talk about the reality, I think it's really important that you make a, you know, a, a, a good decision about whether affiliate marketing is for you or not. Okay, it's not for everybody and, you know, nobody should try to convince you to do it. It's entirely up to you. There's a lot of stuff that goes behind it. Uh, and so I'm going to go through that now with you. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about misconceptions because people often think, oh, yes, I'm going to make some money online. Wow. You know, uh, it is not an overnight success. You are not going to uh, do that just overnight. It is not a get rich quick scheme. If that's what you think, then it is definitely not for you. Okay. You can just keep scrolling or, you know, <laughs> pass on by because that is not how it works. It takes time. It also takes effort and your energy uh, needs to go into it. All right. Um, some people are jumping from course to course. I see a lot of that happening. And I think the main reason is because people just don't have the right support. Yes, it has to align with you. The course has to align with you. It needs to be uh, beginner friendly because if you haven't got a clue and when I first started, I was totally clueless, didn't have a clue, but I found this amazing community uh, and they had just the best. Like I get my questions answered 24 seven. I have three six figure coaches that help me uh, that I can speak to directly, even if I wish to, you know, I mean, we have messenger. We're so lucky with the internet. You've got um, Facebook, so there's so many ways that you can connect with people, but we have a group chat and I know if I have a question or I'm stuck with something, I can get IT help as well because, you know, we all need a bit of IT help. I'm not an IT person after all. So that is really, really good. And I think when you're looking at different courses, you really need to look at the community that you're in. Are you getting the help? Are you getting your questions answered? Is the support there? And I think that's why I see so many people on TikTok or other platforms and they're jumping from you know basically got the shiny object syndrome they're jumping from one course to the next because they think well this one might be better but you know that is not the case you you just need to stay focused uh, and get some clarity around what you're doing okay uh, it does take commitment and focus all right um so easy money like i said that is not the case. Once you set up, you're consistent and you, you put effort into it, take the time to learn it. And I mean, sometimes I'm not on the social media platforms. Why is that? That's because I am actually doing my learning. So if you're learning, then that is good. And you need to take time for that too. It's not just about, you know, being online all the time or social media all the time. You do have to do the learning. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the next thing. Um, it, can you be successful? Yes, you can be successful. Uh, like I said, it takes a consistency, it takes the time, it takes the effort. And unless you're putting that work in, then you're probably not going to make it, all right? There's a lot of people out there that don't make it. There is probably one to 5% of people who actually do make it because they make the time, because they really want it. It's all about, you know, the mindset. If you really want something, you're gonna get it. You know, it's like that uh, new car, you know, when you're looking for a new car, okay? And I remember when Hubby and I were looking for a new car, we saw this car and all we could do was think about this car. And every time we were on the road, 
all, all did we, what did we see? Was this car. And once we bought that car, what did we see? Kept seeing the same cars. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. <laughs> it was like, you know, so you put it out there. If you really want something, you're going to see it. It's going to happen. Okay, that, that's just the universe. That's how it works. So, uh, you know, you've got to have the right mindset. And yes, you can. All right, you can be successful. And there's many people. And look, some there's many people out there that have, uh, you know, pure beginners like myself. And I am seeing them having such great successes, okay? So everyone is different. We all work at a different pace as well. Uh, you take that into consideration. You can go fast, you can go slow, and everybody's different because we're all unique. So it doesn't really matter as long as you get to the goal in the end. <laughs> all right. Um, so, as I said, you know, just persevere, persevere. Okay. Let's talk about some of the challenges that you might find uh, when you're doing affiliate marketing. So I guess the main one is, you know, what niche are you in? When we talk about niche, we're talking about, uh, you know, what is it that you, you know, what is your passion? What is it that you actually want to promote? Because there's no point you promoting something that you hate or something you haven't tried, for example, if it's a product and you're promoting a product, well, you want to have tried that product so you can say, hey, it's fantastic. This is it. Okay, this is it. So with a niche, uh, you need to choose something you're passionate about. So for example, I am passionate about dogs. I love dogs. Uh, you know, I dog sit and I had a dog as well. So uh, he's now, you know, over in Rainbow Bridge, but it's all good. I, I dog sit and we have we have dogs. So, um, you know, that could be a niche that I could actually go into. Maybe there's some products that I could recommend. I could become an affiliate for that and I could promote the products on social media or I can promote it through some funnels or a website. And that's how I would get a commission when someone actually purchases, uh, you know, that product. OK, so if you're looking for niches, uh, the main three niches basically that you can look at there's I mean there's set, there's many all you've got to do is go to Google just pop it in there and you know it stuff will come up so preferably use something that you're you know passionate about like I said I'm passionate about dogs I'm also passionate about gardening I like to go grow veggies um, so you could do something like that maybe it's food cooking but the main uh, sort of profit portal get that word out profitable <laughs> niches online are health um health health wealth and relationships all right they're the top three that people mostly get into okay but it doesn't have to be that there's quite a few and if you actually go to google and pop that in there you will find lots of niches okay now um the next thing would be you need to build an audience. So how are you going to build an audience so that they're going to come and see your offer? Well, you've got social media, that's for sure. You can create a website. You can do ads. I don't really do ads at this stage. You can do organic marketing. There's email marketing, okay? So you can get it out to people. Let people know this is, this is a great product or this is a great service, you know? Uh, and that's how you would put it out there. You need to give some value to people um, because people aren't just going to buy and they also need to like and trust you because if they don't like and trust you, uh, you know, it's like when you go in, in the shop and the, you, the, the uh, salesman comes to you and he literally jumps on you and, hi, how can I help you? Uh, do you need any help today? You know, and as soon as someone does that to you, you're like, Hang on a minute. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm like, steady. I just walked into your shop and you're jumping onto me and you're asking me, do I need help? I haven't looked at what you got yet. So <laughs> it's the same deal, whether it's online, you know. So have you ever had that happen to you? Let me know in the comments because, you know, it's so true. Like we don't like to, you know, be set upon as such. We need to make our own decisions. All right. So you're going to build your audience, get them to like and, you know, understand you, value what you have to say. And that's how you will get people to come along. 
Now, dealing with the competition, how are we going to deal with the competition? Yes, there's competition out there. Of course there is. But you know what? You're going to brand yourself. You are unique. You put your authenticity into it because you and I are different. You know, you and I are completely different. So what I say or what I do or the niches that I might pick will be totally different to what you like. Your passions or hobbies would be totally different maybe to mine. They might be similar, but not necessarily. And that's OK. And that's what it's about is putting your authenticity in there. And people will go, oh, yeah, I like I like this person, you know, and it's it's like making friends, but it's friends online, you know, because you, you can make a friend, make friends with people, but you don't necessarily like everybody. So it's the same deal. OK, same sort of thing. But you put your uniqueness into it, your authenticity into it. OK. All right. So let me just check my notes. We're just going to move on. Uh, we're having a few computer issues today. All right, so let's talk about, um, you know, if some, let me give you some tips that might help you uh, to decide whether you need to take action, whether it's for you, okay? So firstly, I encourage you to, you know, educate yourself. Keep a positive mind about it. Be realistic about it, okay? It does take work, like I said. You need to be consistent. You need to put time and you need to put effort into it. So there's a lot that goes around it. If you're not prepared to do any of those things, okay, and if you're thinking, oh my gosh, do I have to be on camera? I can't stand being on camera. I'm too scared to be on camera. No, you can actually do it without being on camera and showing your face. You can actually do that too. So if that's something of interest to you, then you can still do it, okay? So don't be camera shy. If you're camera shy, it's fine. You don't need to worry. You can still go ahead and do it. But Give that consideration. It's the time, effort, perseverance and sticking with it. OK, so um, that's what you need to do. Um, OK. You also need to be, I think, you know, transparent with your audience, which is what I'm trying to do here is to tell you, well, the reality of it is that, you know, you do need to put effort into it. Um, you have to put the effort. You have to put the time you need to learn. So. Those are the sort of things uh, that needs to be, you know, you need to think about. Um, OK, now. Uh, the amazing thing, though, about affiliate marketing is that once you learn how to do this, you know, your your brain, you're just going to come out with ideas. I don't know. I have a creative mind anyway. I love creating stuff. I love creating content. But, you know, what you can do, there's so many avenues of income. And there's so many opportunities out there because there is, you know, the, the possibilities are amazing. I mean, you know, there's so much um, knowledge. There's, uh, you know, there's like so many resources out there that you can grab just to get you started and to help you. All right. Um, it's really, really amazing. Once you once you see it, once you see it, you're like, oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Like you're just like, oh. I mean, for me, it was like, oh, my gosh, once I saw the potential of this and, the, you know, the possibilities, it's just phenomenal. So you can take it where you like, you know, and people are making huge amounts of money. And Forbes even said this, you know, that affiliate marketing is one of the top niches to actually get into. So, you know, grab the resources. If you're interested in getting started, go check my links in the description. Uh, I'd love to help you, love to see you uh, come on in. I also have a Facebook group. If you'd like to join there, I put some, try to put some good value in there and I help people, uh, you know, to get started. Or, you know, if you've got questions, please do ask. Uh, you can always pop a comment here too. But uh, yes, give it some good thought. It's not for everybody, like I said, but it, you, there really is great opportunities out there. And you do have to realise the reality of it. And that's what I wanted to put out there. Because I don't want people to think, oh, yeah, I'm going to join or this is some get rich quick scheme or this is a pyramid scheme. You know, this is actually you do need to work. It's not going to just happen overnight. Some people do it within 30 days. Some people do it in 90 days. And that's the thing. When you're on social media, I do see people saying, oh, yes, you can make 10K in 90 days. Well, sorry, not necessarily. Not everybody. 
Some people have made it. Yes, of course. Like I said, we're all different. We all go at a different pace. We all have things in our lives, you know, that are happening. It could be family. It could be work. You know, if you're doing a nine to five, then you're going to find pockets of time to do this. That's what you do. You use pockets of time to do this. You might be a busy mum, you know, or you might be a dad that works overseas, or you might be a fly in, fly out person, uh, you know, FIFO as such, if you're in Australia, you fly into fly into work and you're there for a few weeks and then you come back and you fly, fly back home. So different things in our lives can also affect, you know, the speed at which you do this. And it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent, put the time and put the effort and persevere with it. Just persevere. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. And uh, don't forget, if you like this content, please give me a like, a follow, subscribe, put your notifications on and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.